Today we're going to look at adding a pop-up to the funnel so that we can collect a name and address. Let's take a look. Okay, let's go into our funnel and let's take a look at what we need to do next, which is essentially we need to activate these buttons. So we have the screen. I did a little work on it since our last video but this is the button right here and this button is going to take us to a pop-up so we need to go create the pop-up and i'm going to do that by going over to pop-ups and clicking plus and i'm going to start with a blank template because i like to go get blocks that aren't necessarily the pre uh, formatted pop-up blocks so i'm going to go now to blocks and i'm going to go to direct response and I'm going to go to call to action blocks. And down here in the call to action blocks, I have this one here that I think is going to make a nice block for us to capture name and address. So first of all, we're just going to take this image. Again, we're just going through the process that we've gone through multiple times. We're going to capture this, which is the image of our bundle and you can see that it's too small there so again we go to size looks like the template had it at 57 we're going to pull it all the way up to the largest size that it can be 100 percent relative to parent and then we're going to go over here and we're going to get rid of everything that's inside this container so let's do delete we're going to delete this text and we're going to delete this button because we don't want a button on here we want actually a mail form so we're going to go over here to elements go to the bottom find the groove mail form pull it over and put it inside here now what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and we're going to actually change this we're going to actually have the groove mail form that we created with groove mail but we're going to set that up later so for right now uh, this is really oh we need to say free instant access and again, I'll probably change some colors, you know, and make it match more, but we just created the pop-up. And so I'm going to save it. I'm going to go over back into pop-ups. Oops. And I'm going to rename it. So this is capture name and actually this is free course access. All right. And I'm going to say check mark. Now, one other thing I'm going to do in my settings here is I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down to animation and I'm going to have this fade in down and when they exit if they exit I'm going to have it fade out up right here so that's going to let it come down the screen and then come back up uh, when they click on it so let's save this and what we're going to do is we're going to go back into groove pages now we're going to go to the landing page click on the button we are going to configure a standard pop-up with a link to a pop-up which is the free course access and update that and we're going to update the one below it as well all right so let's do the same thing standard is going to a pop-up it's going to free course access and update so now both buttons are activated so that when they click the buttons they're going to see the pop-up so let's save this and now just because we want to see it working, let's go publish this to our Groove Pages subdomain. So if you haven't already set up, you will need to go to Manage Domains and click right here where it says Groove Pages subdomain. And when you click Manage, you're going to go in here and put a subdomain. This is simply your domain in the entire Groove system. And that is your name or the name of your product you can see that mine is KL Strike 2 I can probably say Kevin Strike and see and it'll tell you if it's available or not so I'm gonna click Save okay so you can see that it's Kevin Strike now and we're gonna click update now we're gonna go over here and I'm just gonna refresh this so that we come back to Groove Pages subdomain and you can see right now it says kevinstrike.groovepages.com and we're going to put this in a 50 in 50 folder within that subdomain. So the nice thing is we can just go ahead and publish this 
and once it's published we have an actual site out there that we can test and see exactly how it's going to work so let's take a look once we get that published all right so it's going to say site publishing and site publishing process progress pretty much at that point we can just go click this go to this center icon and now we have our landing page and you can see the video there like we wanted it but let's click this to see the pop-up and there's the pop-up and we're going to actually have a functioning form here but i just wanted to show you um, now what we've done is we've connected a pop-up to the buttons all right that's it for this evening make sure you like and subscribe send this video and the series the playlist to those that you know would be helped by this entire sequence of videos and thanks for joining me